everything we said was going to happen with She-Hulk Attorney at Law is coming true, and we can see this with every extra frame of the show that we see. And in no way is this truer than in the most recent clip that was released of She-Hulk Attorney at Law, in which we see cock Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner mocking his own powers as Jennifer Walters outperforms him in every single way. Good luck, Marvel, and hello. Welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? And I would just like to take a quick opportunity right here to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel and left me so many overwhelmingly positive and encouraging comments. You guys are amazing. Believe me, I'm going nowhere. So if you haven't subscribed yet, give it a try. And I will carry on now with bounding into comics. <clears throat> Here we go. Latest She-Hulk clip further mocks the Hulk, sees Bruce dismiss his own powers as complete downsides. A new clip for Marvel's She-Hulk Attorney at Law has provided further evidence that the upcoming Disney Plus series intends to introduce the Marvel Cinematic Universe's version of the Jade Giantess by way of tearing down Bruce Banner. What a surprise. Released on August 1st and not so subtly titled Nailing It, the new preview opens with Jen showing off her immediate handle on her newfound powers to her cousin. First, she meets his attempt to reach uh, to teach her yoga as a tool to help control her Hulk side with a, ver a visual delay of the fact that though he has had years of experience with the other guy, she already has a better sense of control over her powers than he has over his own, much to his visible jealousy. Now, hmm, I wonder if I've ever seen anything else by Disney that involved a woman version of a male character suddenly appearing with all the same powers and abilities, except with absolutely no problems whatsoever controlling them, no need for training, just a sudden awakening of the full range of the male character's abilities, and of course outstripping him in every single way. I wonder if I've ever seen anything like that before. Hmm, I don't know. Last Jedi, anyway. Here we go then. So, after Bruce provides an example of his ground pound technique by causing the ground to crack with just a single punch, Jen responds with a strike of her own, which, despite being thrown with far less effort, has the much more impressive result of dislodging rocks from the surrounding cliffs and sending a shockwave into the forest behind them. So basically, yeah, it's Ray. It's Ray Palpatine. Just green. That's basically what this is. Shrugging her shoulders, she then quips to Bruce, Hmm, it's easy. We then see a scene where, of course, he pushes her off, calls her a little punk, and they cut out the part from the trailer where she flips the middle finger at him as she falls. I wonder if that's got anything to do with the fact that Disney is predominantly a children's entertainment company, and doing this is not considered adequate or appropriate for children. I wonder. So... Jumping back up, Jen proceeds to criticise her cousin's teaching methods, dismissively asking, so I'm clearly nailing out all these things, when am I ever going to use these things as a lawyer? Jen, when you have powers like this, Bruce calmly explains, it's like putting a target on your back, and the backs of all people you care about. So basically, he explains what it's like to be a superhero. Oh cool, yet another way my life is ruined, says the moaning cow. Thanks, Bruce. Taking note of her frustration, he then goes ahead and basically just insults uh, his superpowers, calling them the downside of being a Hulk, but saying that the upside is being able to drink tons and not get drunk. I mean, I would consider that the downside. In any case, yeah, everything that Bruce Banner does to show his cousin what it's like to be a Hulk, she appears to just instantly and effortlessly improve upon. She doesn't seem to struggle in any way at all, and is just very, very happy to embarrass the guy who's trying to help her. Why do they write women this way? So that they're such bitches, they're such ungrateful, over-talented, perfect, flawless, Bitches, what is the point? You you haven't written a likable character in years, Marvel. You suck. Nobody likes these heroes. Why do you insist on this? Well, I already know why, of course. It's because it's owned by Disney, and Disney is invested in by BlackRock, and BlackRock says you've got to do social justice, so that's, that's why. Nevertheless, there will be no peace until we see some changes, until there is respect for the fans, for the people, and for the characters, in fact, that greater writers than these created. 
It's just embarrassing at this point to watch these people struggle through these series one after another, every time transparently emasculating and embarrassing men just to make women look better than them in every possible conceivable way. I mean, what is the end game here? Is it just to weaken the self-esteem of men in the real world to make us easier to conquer? <gasps> I think it is. In any case, you let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and help it grow. Thank you very much. I will be back with another video very soon, but until then, see you next time.